Yo, what's good, everybody? Mr. Hollow Park 313. Um, I want to talk about that Michigan and um, Air Force game that happened this past Saturday. I know it's been a couple of days, but um, there's some glaring concerns that I have as a fan, and um, that is about the, the quarterback play. Um, listen, I'm trying to hang in there in terms of, you know, believing in Wilton Spade and just – rooting for him, and I'm still rooting for him, don't get me wrong, but it's pretty much getting to the point where I'm nervous going into each game going forward, especially on the road. I mean, and I understand it's not just him. It, it could be a combination of him and offensive line, but if I just had to pinpoint his specific play, that's a glaring concern. Now, you know, it used to be times where, you know, you go like we got the next game against Purdue. Now, you go into a game like that with the utmost confidence. Uh, we'll wipe them off the face, off the face of the earth. We'll blast. We'll, you know, run Air Force out the building. We'll run Cincinnati out the building. But, you know, watching these few games, it's no longer like that, honestly. So, I'm not necessarily saying that Michigan's going to lose to Air Force. I mean, not Air Force, but Purdue. But I'm not as confident as I used to be watching Michigan games. And that's simply because of the quarterback play. I'm sorry. He, um, and this is just my opinion, he does not perform well on the road, especially in big games. Now, Purdue isn't necessarily a big game, but you have to think about it. They already know that nobody expects them to win against Michigan. So they come in there with the mindset that they don't have nothing to lose. They're going to come at you, whatever, come at us with everything they got and lay it all out there on the line you know if they lose it'll be no big deal because nobody would expect them to win anyway however they're gonna come out and they're gonna come out harder i mean pretty much play, trying to play the game of their life to get a big upset you know so when you got a big team like michigan coming to town you know you that just does something for you especially when you got your home crowd behind you so our offense was pretty much non-existent against Air Force at home. I've never seen our offense look that bad at the big house and for as long as I can remember, honestly. You know, especially under the uh, Jim Harbaugh era. So, um, Purdue can score points. I'm not necessarily saying they're going to score a lot on our defense, but you got to keep in mind, it doesn't matter how good your team defense is. If they're not getting rest, if they constantly, but if they're jogging back to the sideline after getting a big play, like a, a a stop on third down or interception, if they made a big play to get the ball back to the offense, if they're taking their helmets off, and by the time they get the helmets off, Wilton Spate is jogging back over to the sideline because he done gave the ball away to the other team again, they're going to get gas. You have to give your defense rest. I don't give a damn how good your defense is. They could be number one in every statistical category. But if they're constantly out there in the field not getting no rest because the offense can't sustain drives, then eventually they're going to break and give up big plays themselves. It has nothing to do with their talent. It's just human nature. They need rest. And unfortunately, I just think that we have been relying too much on our defense to get us through games. And that's pretty much been carrying it with them spate up to this point, to this 3 and no spot. However, uh... This 3-0 doesn't really feel too comfortable right now going forward. And I'm just keeping it real. Uh, the man simply has to get it done. And so far, he has not been getting it done. And that's just the way it is. I'm not hating. I'm just calling what it is. Y'all see the games just like I do. I mean, that offensive performance was absolutely terrible. You know, and um, he's still overthrowing receivers. He's still missing, like, you no know, easy passes. And I just don't get it. It's like... It's almost like he's regressing. He's not getting any better. Now, you would think this being him his junior year, he'd be getting a lot better going forward. But he's actually getting worse, in my opinion. I mean, seriously. I mean, the man threw three pick sixes in the spring game. The spring game. So, you playing your own team in front of your own fans at home, and they're not even allowed to hit you, and you still threw three pick sixes. That was a concern right there in itself for me. And I understand that was just a spring game, but look what happened. Two big pick sisters in the um, Florida game. That game should have been over. 
by the way our defense was playing. And the only reason we won that game is because of the defense. It has nothing to do with Spate. He had a couple of good throws, but he had a lot of costly throws too. And he missed a, a wide open receiver as well. So this just continues to happen. And something has to be I'm sorry, I just I do not feel comfortable moving forward. And at some point, we're going to really, really be tested, especially on the road. We still have to go to Penn State. You got to go against uh, at Wisconsin. Obviously, we got Ohio State at the end of the game, at the end of the season, at the big house. But if you can't str- if you can't score points against fucking Air Force, what the hell you think going to happen against Ohio State? Hell, that Michigan State game is not even a gimme. I mean, moving forward. See, right now we in, we we can ready to start Big Ten play, and in my opinion, Will Spate is simply just not ready. It's not getting it done. And honestly, Cor- O'Corn, I don't know if he's that much better of an option, but it's just it's just really surprising to me that we are struggling at the quarterback position. You know, when Coach Harbaugh is known to be a quarterback coach, you know, so I really don't know. But anyway, I'm getting on out of here. Um, I talked to you after the Lions game tonight against the Giants. Um, it's amazing. There's no surprise that all these analysts on TV are pretty much, it's almost like they're rooting against us and shit because they want the Giants to win so bad because they're in the NFC, in NFC East and, you know, New York is a big market. And, you know, people usually root against us. We ain't, you know, that's nothing new to us. We don't really give a fuck. I think that we can win if we go out there and play our game. Our defense go out there and shut Eli Manning down. I don't give a fuck if Odell back can play or not. I think that we are the better team, in my opinion. And I'm not just saying it because I'm a fan. I'm just calling it like I see it. Um, so hopefully we get that win tonight. And um, I'll talk to y'all after that win. And um, i get out to y'all later. As always, shout out to my DVE crew, Detroit versus everybody. Mr. Holland Park 313. And i get out to y'all later.